exciting day. I just got in the mail a set of strings from my boys at the Archer Shack. Make sure to give them a uh, check out here. Here's the number. It's got me uh, some strings for my shoot down. These guys are great. So I'm gonna get the shoot down, restrung, get it all tied in um, for a Gold Tip X Cutter Pro, get it uh, bullet holing, and uh, I'll walk you along through the process here, let you guys see what they look like. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say straight up, I'm not untying this peep, I'm gonna cut it out. And the reason is these strings are very old, they're, they're weak, and um, I actually already have some back, a, a, an older backup uh, string for it in case something ever happened. But I know that, that it won't, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just sacrifice this one for the, I'm just kind of saving some time because the way that I tie it in, it's virtually impossible to get it untied. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, pull some measurements from center shot up to uh, get my peak placement. And um, yeah, I'm going to get this thing restrung right quick. Guys, look at that. These are so beautiful. Um, so to clarify what I'd done earlier, um, I actually took, see this longer served end has got to go over here where your um, your cams are. I accidentally switched one around. But uh, I'm gonna get the tension off this thing. Let the bow sit for a few minutes. Um, I like to let it sit for 30 to 40 minutes. Not that it's necessary because they do pre-stretch their strings. And um, what I'll do is I'll let these sit for a little while. Then I'll put my peep in and I will proceed to tie in everything. Um, I'll get my D loop in. I'll do my timing uh, just to check it. It should be pretty close. But yeah, this thing is beautiful. All right, so I've already taken two turns out of the limb bolts, which you're supposed to do. I had people giving me flack before because I wasn't doing it. And I hate, I hate to have to cut these strings, but I, it would be virtually, I would cause more damage to the string trying to get this out than I would being able to, because uh, I tie in like Josh Bomar does, and it's like incredibly strong. So we're six inches dead. I need a pen. I can remember six. You guys have to remember six. So um, these strings right here have served me well. And uh, they've been great. Now, I know I'll probably catch hate for doing that, but these strings are literally not safe to shoot. Um, so... I mean, I have been shooting them, but I've been kind of taking a risk every time that I do because, I mean, they're they're literally living on the edge. I'm gonna get this peep side off and get this thing strung up. All right, I'm gonna start with some BCY power grip um, and actually do a different way than I used to do. I'm gonna buy some more razor blades, that's bad. This is some really, really tough material. And, um, you know, you don't want to get any knock pinch. So I lay over. Then I take this string right here and I lay it under my cable guard. And um, I'm going to wrap up four times. One, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to tuck this string here back under uh we want to go just like that and when i say this stuff doesn't move and it really bites so i'm just going to just keep about a servings length distance i want to get that string up see where it's wanting to go okay so um I'll leave it right there. The top one, I like to make touch. Um, the bottom one is just really to keep the D loop from sliding up against your area because any knot pinch is gonna throw you off and I have learned that the hard way. And that stuff right there bites. So leaving our knocking point in right there, that's the most handy thing I believe you can do. Good God. Stuff is stout. 
This was also recommended reckon, reckon to me by Jeremy down at the Archer Shack. He actually gave me that spool. And uh, that'll be sufficient. The only thing I don't like about that stuff is it doesn't really burn that well. Okay. Go ahead and pop that out. And even if we are just a little bit uh, off, we can get that out of the rest. But this is a really good starting point. So we got about a serving's width there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Get a piece of rope. And um, let me tell you, this works. One, two, three, four. And um, the way I learned to do this is I actually watched a video from uh, Josh Bomar. This is how he ties it. And I just kind of picked it up and started using it myself. Make sure all of our loops are correct. So you don't want to make a mistake here, you'll be retying it. I know that for a fact. Okay, so keep our serving length. Make sure we don't have any knock pinch. We don't. Cinch that thing down, and I always keep my knots on the top end of the string, on the back side, where whenever the arrow comes back, because um, if your little knot is right there on the side or even in the front, your knot could come in, in contact with your arrow and throw your uh, shot off a little bit. All right, so there's our knocking points. Get that burnt down. I'm gonna tie the D loop on and uh, put it on the draw board. Get her in time. All right, guys, touching. Touching, did not take much at all. Got this thing dialed in, peak rotation is good. I think we'll be ready to flip this thing through paper and see how she does. I'll uh, I'll show you guys once I get a bullet hole and we'll be good to get to film the end of the video. I wound up not being able to achieve a bullet hole, but that was, I, I think I tied my knocking point too low, but I'm gonna work on it another time. Bow's in tune, it's all good. Make sure to check out the Archer Shack. They build some amazing strings. Um, I was just kind of in a hurry. And uh, I do believe I tied my knocking point in too low. But that's okay. I can redo it. You guys have a good day. God bless you. Thank you again. And make sure to check out the Archer Shack. Yeah.